And now comes the fun part. Steve McConnell, help! Welcome to another Christine McConnell craft video and I'm very excited about this one because it is not a candle And if you do not know what I'm talking about or what I'm referring to I'll link that video up above so around October last year I did my first Christine McConnell craft and it was a homemade candle and it was difficult but That's the fun that comes with doing things homemade What? I ended up doing two videos for that one because the first time I did it, I did it wrong and I couldn't accomplish it. I tried it again a second time and that one went, went decently. I think she's a wizard and she can just do things that are, that maybe a normal person or someone like me who's not actually that crafty is just uh, gonna have a hard time trying to recreate, but she does inspire me. And I was recently watching her show all over again because I do love the Christine McConnell creations on Netflix. I really do think she's amazing at what she does and I just wanna be like Christine McConnell. Please take this video with a grain of salt. I'm just an inexperienced crafter who is trying to just try some things new. This is all for fun. So the next craft that I decided I wanted to do is the edible tea set, which is actually on episode four. Making your own edible set has the benefit of being both affordable and delicious. I was like looking through her show, trying to see what were things that I could actually do that were reasonable. I don't see myself making a gingerbread haunted house anytime soon, but I do see myself making this edible tea set and it may be working out. What I liked about this craft is that it didn't take a lot of ingredients, so it was relatively cheap to put together. You only need several basic ingredients to pull off this recipe. All you need is white and dark melting chips. You need balloons, parchment paper and cling wrap, and a little tea plate. And this is a very tiny one, so I do have a bigger plate in case I want to try different sizes. But basically, that's about it. So the first step is dipping a balloon that is roughly the same circumference of a teacup. So I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do one that's kind of small like this one, and then do one that's more of like a traditional size for a teacup. I think this looks a little bigger than a teacup size, so we'll, we're gonna try to make another one a little smaller. Okay. In melted chocolate, Try to keep the chocolate at about 110 to 120 degrees. So I melted some of the chocolate. This is the dark chocolate. And she did say to make sure that it is between 110 to 120 degrees. Dip it in, roll it around, and then put it on a cold surface. And be careful. If your chocolate is too hot, your balloon will pop. I'm going to take the balloon and just... I'm nervous. Now this is the bigger one, so it's probably going to be harder with this one. Yeah, I think this teacup is going to be a little big. <laughs> so this one, you know, we'll see how it goes. And then just put that there. Okay, and the smaller one. Alright, I think I did that. Look like uh, chocolate covered strawberries, but little chocolate covered balloons. So now I'm gonna put this in the freezer. So while the tea cups are chilling, I'll show you how to make a beautiful little plate. The next step is to make the little tea saucer. And you're gonna paint it on the back. If you want your mold to come off a little easier, a trick you can do is cover your plate with some plastic wrap. And now I'm gonna take a brush and just brush on some of the chocolate to create a mold. What the plate essentially does is provide you with a mold. The same thing again with the bigger tea set or tea plate. Now, why do you need an edible tea set? I don't know, but is it fun? Yes. It's been 10 minutes and I'm a little concerned because they are like stuck to the plate so I'm guessing I need to like let it melt a little bit so right so I managed to get this one out the only thing is that at the bottom it has like extra melted chocolate that kind of I guess it's fine so once you take your balloon out of the chiller pop the balloon and pull it out so you have nothing but that perfect chocolate dome Oh, okay. It's popped, but it's just kind of like taking forever to go. Let's see how this one goes. Same thing, I guess there was no pop. What am I supposed to do if like it doesn't 
keep trying to make holes maybe but it's like stuck I'm scared I'm gonna break it no this is oh no I broke it Okay, well, let's see if this one worked out. I did go ahead and make another balloon just in case because I had a feeling that knowing me, something would go wrong. I just don't understand, like, am I supposed to grease the balloons? Is that what I'm supposed to do next time? <gasps> I think this one's working. It's kind of cracking. <gasps> um... very fancy until you pour actual tea in it. You know, maybe I make them thick enough. That could be a part of it. Maybe I should make it thicker next time. And maybe it sounds kind of weird, but maybe I should grease the balloon a little bit. Could Can't hurt. Because it gets kind of stuck to the balloon. So they're obviously... She didn't say to grease the balloon, but I don't think it could hurt to try that. Well, let's see if the plates worked out. Unroll your plate. Simply fold back. Peel it off. Oh, it worked. <gasps> At least the plate worked. So we got one plate. Let's see if this one also was successful. Did I put cling wrap around the balloon? Is that weird? I don't know about this one. I don't think I made this one thick enough. It's already fallen apart, so I guess I didn't make it thick enough or the plates, because the plate's bigger. Okay, so now you know if you ever decide to try this, you need to make it thick. If not, it will crack. At least I have one plate that worked. Okay, round two, I have my balloon. I have my melted chocolate. Let me double check that it's not too hot. This time, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna spray. <laughs> I hope this isn't gonna like mess up everything again. If not, I'll just try again. Maybe if I cover it in oil, it will it won't stick to the balloon. And the other thing I'm gonna do is put it. I'm gonna make it thicker. It has oil now, so again, I don't know. My theory is that it won't stick. Oh, what if it won't stick to the chocolate? Okay, it looks like it is. But also, how can I control how thick? What if I just? What if I brush it on? I think that'll be better. <laughs> okay, it's acting very melty and I'm guessing it's because of the oil. I'm gonna put this in the freezer and we're gonna try again. Okay, so while the teacup is chilling, I am going to start to do the next step, which is these little molds. And basically she has like some kind of tool where she makes a crescent moon. I'm just gonna cut. I use a cannoli mold. I want a whole bunch of these crescent moons made of chocolate. So I'm hoping that this is, that's close enough to a crescent moon crescent moon listen it doesn't have to be perfect i need to save the dark ones in case i mess up again using an open flame or any kind of heating element melt your chocolate and attach it to the plate okay so i have my little plate again and now i'm going to add the little decoration pieces around it and um she said an open flame i think that works enough uh you know i'm happy with it it's not crescent moons exactly but you know all right again it has this like extra baggage in the bottom but but the balloon just sticks it like sticks to the chocolate and then i don't understand how am i supposed to like, look how it just falls apart. Again, did I not make it thick enough? Christine McConnell, help! I'm, I'm not happy. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try one more time because at the end of the day, this plate is so little and I'm so happy we have a plate at least. So, I'm gonna have to try one more time, make a smaller balloon, 
clearly the the olive oil idea where I sprayed the balloon didn't make a difference. It's still very much stuck. Look at this. She made it seem so easy. She makes everything look easy. A few minutes later. All right, here we go. Third time's a charm. I've got the tiniest balloon I could have possibly done. We're out of dark chocolate, so now we've got white chocolate that's melted, and I figured that could be cute, like a white chocolate teacup with a little dark chocolate plate. So, I will say the wine has been helping me not get frustrated. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because- Trial and error, you know. Let's try again and put it in the freezer. So while the teacup is chilling, I'm gonna try to move on to the next step. So, well, it's kind of the next step. It's the part with the handle. Draw out a shape you like and then lay parchment paper over it. She says to get parchment paper and then draw little shapes for the handle. I went with the bat wing for my design. And she was fancy and did like a bat wing and I just did three different options to see which one works out And then she's using like parchment paper for some reason I'm just gonna use a ziploc bag because I feel like with parchment paper it's gonna be harder to control like the tip So we'll see if this works out Oh shoot, okay <laughs> Um This is already I think I understand why she said to you just to use a parchment paper. What am I doing with my life? Honestly, I'll be happy if any of these work. I don't care how pretty it is, as long as I get a handle out of this. This one has been layered about three times and then chilled. <laughs> um, gonna go in the freezer. Okay, and this is like the perfect teacup, so I hope it works out. So maybe I should be patient and just wait for it to naturally, like, deflate. I don't know. Maybe I'll just try that method and be patient. <laughs> Something I'm not good at. Okay, update. I think the trick is to let it melt a little bit and then the balloon will come out easily. So that's my hope. So I'm gonna let this kind of like take its time, melt a little bit, and maybe it'll then come out easy. We'll see. This has to work because I'm getting fed up. I don't want to make another one, so I'm done with the balloon. A few minutes later. Oh my god, it worked. Okay, so I did have to be super careful and kind of peel it out, and it was a little stuck still, but I did it, and I have a little teacup. I feel so proud of myself. I did it. I feel, I feel happy of myself. Okay, well, it's not done. So, so the next thing is that she wants you to get like a hot surface to make it like kind of even. Now to smooth the surface, get a hot plate or some sort of hot surface. So I did put this plate in the microwave. So I feel like that should be hot enough of a surface. Oh yeah, it's working. Try to make it have more of an even, oh, look at that. Now, the only thing is I still have this like crooked bottom part. Should I try to do that too? Maybe that'll even out. Oh my God, what if I mess this whole thing up? Okay, there's a hole in the middle, but that's okay because we're about to do the base. And then you're going to arrange your moons around your chip and seal it all together with some melted chocolate in a parchment bag. So I just made my own little version of a, a base. And then I'm gonna put some of the melting chocolate, like she said, over it. And again, I don't have time to put it in a little piping bag, like she said. I'm just gonna, anybody got time for that? And then I just pop this, oh dear, okay. And then I just pop this in here. Like the, the little cup has feet now. So I'm gonna put this back in the freezer so it all gets solid. So I just took out of the freezer my little molds for the handle and this is not gonna work. These are like, <laughs> I mean, but maybe I should, I don't know. Should I try again? I'm gonna try again with this as the handle and just see what happens. I can start doing some of those fine details. This process can be very time consuming. But it's these little details that really add personality to your tea set and really make it come alive. Okay, so the next step is to decorate the little plate and she gets really intricate with it and I don't, I really lost my patience. So I'm not gonna get that intricate with it, but I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna do some little things, something just to make it look kind of cute, but I'm not, I'm not gonna get fancy with it. 
the fact that I have a plate and that it looks like this is already to me like good enough but we're gonna just maybe add some little tiny little dots like she did to the white ones and to me this looks decorated enough so I'll take it you can make a whole set and it will be beautiful now I'm gonna take my little teacup and decorate it with the black again <laughs> and this is where things can go very bad or maybe it'll come out cute I mean, kind of cute, I think. I can feel it melting in my hands, so I have to be quick and then try to put it back in the freezer. So my teacup has a little bit of a design. <laughs> so there we go. I have my little teacup and my little plate. The only thing I'm missing at this point is the like handle. So we're gonna see how this goes, but honestly, teacups don't need handles, right? They could be handleless. I mean, so the handles should attach just like that with a little bit of melting chocolate. I feel like adding the handle is just gonna ruin everything for me. Like it's gonna, the handle just broke. A teacup doesn't need a handle, okay? We're gonna leave it like that. <laughs> because I've had enough with this whole craft. So honestly, I'm just happy with the fact that I even have this. So. I did it <laughs> and I I'm proud of it I think it's cute and I'm, I'm happy with it definitely plan to do more Christine McConnell crafts I actually have a few in mind again the ones that look doable that I saw on her show this one looked easy and clearly I still was having a hard time so <laughs> everything that she makes it look super simple and easy is never as it seems but you know what doable I will say I I definitely think uh, you, you gotta do trial and error and you gotta learn from your mistakes but it was fun, so if you ever want to try to make an edible tea set, now you know how to do that. If you can please subscribe to the channel, it will really help, and uh, like the video. Toodaloo! Kitty, stop it! Kitty, stop it. Christine McConnell, help!